Thank you for joining us. Please enjoy this video from Monsignor Bill. Good day. It's good to be back with you. We're getting to the last couple of weeks of Lent. I pray that what you have been practicing and taking on something or maybe deleting something has helped to bring you a little bit closer to God. We have so much for which we can be grateful. And there's a beautiful first reading today from Jeremiah. You know, one of the things that people sometimes get into the uh, Old Testament and say, you know, well, you know, God, God's really not very nice and all these kinds of things because of all the stuff. But, you know, Jeremiah tells us that uh, I will remember your sins no more. You know, when we go to confession, our sins are wiped out. They're gone. You know, we hopefully, that that's why we say it in the act of contrition, contrition that you know, I want to amend my life. I'm going to change my life. Even though we've been forgiven, and perhaps it's going to take us several times of going to confession to help exercise that uh, sin that, that is within me. So we have to keep thinking about that because God wants to write his law on our hearts. We do a lot of things in writing. We write letters and we write checks. We write uh, bad uh, things about people. We write good things about people. There's a lot of writing. Sometimes we write on our bodies. Some of the things that people wear uh, in tattooing, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, which is I never have liked um, tattoos. I don't think they're a good thing to have. The Bible tells us not to do that, but I mean it wouldn't be sin if you did to. But we had to really take care of our bodies and, and let the, that the Lord help us uh, re realize how much our bodies are a temple. But now God is telling us, I want to write my law on your heart. What a beautiful aspiration for us to receive the law of God. To put him first in everything. If you haven't started anything for Lent, take these last two weeks. It's never too late. It's never too late. I had a pretty easy time this Lent. I had a couple of things that I was doing, and I've been able to keep my res uh, Lenten resolutions uh, very well. I have not gone skydiving yet. I haven't climbed a mountain yet. I said, I'm not going to do those things for Lent. I do that every year. So I mean, <laughs> I do some other things too. But those, those are the ones I, I always can keep every, every Lent. But now, now we have to do something maybe a little more serious for the last couple of weeks. These are the holiest days of the, of, of the whole liturgical year, holier than Christmas even. So let us uh, make sure that we put a little extra oomph into our last couple of weeks, a little more seriousness in the next two weeks. Because God, God has already written the law. It's already inside of us. We just have to allow ourselves the freedom to actually look at that law that God has placed in our bodies, in our souls. And then we walk in that, that, that holiness of life. And we take that law that was written in our hearts and put that law into the way we think, into the way we act, into the way we, we love one another. Because God is coming to that ultimate, ultimate sign of love, his death and resurrection. He is, loves us so much, 
So let us love him even more. And so let's push on for these last two weeks and really dig in to a spirit of Lent and rediscover the law that has been written on our hearts. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit.